Now to our big story tonight at 9, well watching. A Washington County community is monitoring the safety of its drinking water. Yeah, a small amount of a dangerous chemical was found in one well this past week. Today, village leaders getting a, a look at the area of concern. Our Jeremy Ross is in the village of Jackson now with the latest. Hi, Jeremy. And hey there, some village leaders toured the affected well a little bit earlier today. They are awaiting the most recent water quality test results, and that could help emanate this well really is. It is estimated more than 6,000 people use the water in the village of Jackson. And this past week, a well supplying that water to neighbors was taken offline as a health precaution. The Department of Natural Resources announced a small amount of a dangerous chemical was found in this well. Of course, a little bit of concern. So what we're doing is, is proactively doing everything we can to test the water. Tuesday, village leaders met to discuss the findings in a meeting. Chemical discovered was benzene, a cancer-causing agent. The amount is well within federal and state safe drinking standards, but it's being monitored closely, with two weeks worth of tests showing the presence of the chemical as well as the levels increasing slightly. As for the third week of test results, Director of Public Works Brian Kober expects them soon. Hopefully they're going to speed up the test, so probably in the next couple of days. July 17th of last year, a gasoline pipeline leaked about 55,000 gallons into the ground below the nearby town of Jackson. The village board president says it is possible the pipeline leak is not the source of the well contamination. She says the two sites are far apart and the additional chemicals found in the gas spill were not present in the wells test results. We're looking into it to make sure that it is the if it is the pipeline or if it is another source and correct the situation. Until more information is gathered, there are no plans to take the well back online. As for when the cause could be discovered, when asked if it could take days, weeks, or months, Cobra said, it could take any, you know, until you find the source. Now, the village tells us that the contamination is isolated to only one well. And even with that well offline, there is plenty of water for neighbors in this area. And that water is indeed safe to drink. They plan on meeting next on this issue on June 11th. We're live in the village of Jackson. Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Jeremy. A major decision by federal officials, an emotional reaction from the family. The U.S. attorney will not file any charges in the case of Derek Williams. He's a Milwaukee man who died in police custody almost two years ago now. Fox 6's Myra Sanchik has the latest.